guys, this is Tina from Shabby Dabby Doo Doo. Welcome back to my channel. So I'm here again with my circles um, and I thought let's make some topper type pieces for envelope flaps. Um, I don't know quite how to describe them, but yeah, kind of some vintage, um, I guess like closure things for envelope flaps. So I've got here a cereal box and I've obviously got my, um, you know, my circles as I say. So I'm just going to cut this cereal box down so that it's not quite so cumbersome on the desk. So yeah, let's just cut it down. Now I don't need a huge section of this to be honest. I could probably just get away with, you know, just this side portion if I'm truthful. So we'll see kind of how it, how it goes. But yeah, I think we could probably get away with just the side bit. And then all I'm going to do is take some toppers and stick them onto here. So let's just cut out a couple from here. Now I'm going for the bigger ones because I want to have sort of, you know, a, a statement kind of piece. Um, I'm not going to go for these really large ones, which are in the vintage ones, but I'm just going to go for, you know, these ones that are down the side. Now, Again, you have to excuse my paper. It is again, this thick quality paper and it just chops off the top, which is really annoying. Um, but you know, I've talked about this before and to be honest, I mean, occasionally it does suck it through properly, you know, like it should, but weirdly, the more pages it prints, the more it seems to suck it through. So I suspect it perhaps, you know, perhaps I need to, Oops, hold on a second. Oh, I'm so sorry about that. That was just, you know, something my son had ordered. So, um, yeah. Right. Um, I can't remember now what I was saying. Yeah, I suspect that my printer, um, it probably just, you know, needs the printer heads cleaning or something like that. I mean, not that it's streaking in the prints or anything, but, you know, I have heard people say that, you know, when it has problems like, say, sucking the paper through, if you do like a clean it sometimes can fix that problem. Um, but that being said, you know, I haven't got kind of time to be obviously printing off and cleaning the printer heads in between every couple of pages. So, you know, it's, it's one of those situations, but I mean, it doesn't really bother me to be honest, especially if I'm, you know, doing sort of fussy cut pieces and things because actually I get the bulk of the page. It just maybe is the top, the top row or something that it sort of chops off and, Actually, you can quite often just still use those pieces in certain, you know, certain projects. So, yeah, it's not kind of the end of the world. And the print quality is so nice, it it almost makes it worth it, to be honest. So, yeah, let's take these, these ones here. I'm just kind of wanting to have, you know, a few different colours. So, let's do this one. So I hope everyone's having a good day, doing some crafting, having a nice time. Oh, the sun is shining here. Now, obviously I'm filming this ahead and I know I say this all the time like a scratch record, but yeah, I film ahead and I have to say this every time because you know, you just never know if someone's joining for the first time, they will wonder what on earth I'm talking about. If I say, oh, it, it's chilly, but you know, the sun's shining because it could be a beautiful summer's day by the time that the video goes up. So yeah, I don't want to kind of, you know, look like I'm making stuff up. So all I'm going to do is glue my circles onto the cereal box. Now, admittedly, this seems slightly ridiculous because I'm now going to have to recut them round into circle shapes. The problem is if I had done them, you know, stuck them on before, I wouldn't have known quite where to put the glue because I mean, of course you do want the glue then, you know, right to the very edges. So I'm just going to, yeah, have to cut them a second time. But you know, it's not the end of the world. So again, just take my my wipe to press that down and then obviously squeeze the excess glue out from the side like that. Okay, next one. Yeah, it's a gorgeous day. Um, it really feels like spring out there today. And um, yeah, I went to the gym this morning and oh, for the first day really, you know, since the winter, and I'm not saying that at this point of filming that, you know, we're home and dry, but it felt like spring was literally round the corner. I mean, it was daylight, you know, proper daylight when I came out from the gym and, you know, it was already kind of feeling sunny. 
And um, yeah, I got home and I said to my son, you know, oh my gosh, how lovely was that? When I just left the gym, it felt, for the first time, it felt kind of spring-like. And I just thought, I can't wait. I can't wait for summer. Um, you know, I've talked about this before. I love the changing of the seasons. Um, you know, and I, I don't really have, weirdly enough, a favourite season. Because actually, there's aspects of all the seasons that I absolutely love. And when they come to their turn, you know, of each season, I then sort of find myself thinking, oh, perhaps this is my favourite. You know, perhaps perhaps I like, um, I don't know, spring best, or perhaps I like, you know, autumn best or whatever. But to be honest, then the next season comes along and then that has its own characteristics, you know, that I love equally. So, yeah, it's, it's one of those things that actually I just really do love, you know, having seasons full stop. Um, you know, I used to think that I would love to live somewhere that's just hot all year round. But to be honest, I think actually I would miss, you know, would miss the changing of the seasons. Because, you know, like even when it's, you know, first come into winter, I love it when the clocks, um, you know, go back and it's dark and, you know, sort of lovely dark evenings and you can cosy up and, you know, have like soup and... Yeah, I mean, I love that, and I love getting my jumpers out and, and all of that type of stuff. But equally, like today, you know, oh, such a spring in my step, thinking, oh, my goodness, you know, spring's around the corner. Oh, it won't be long before summer's here. So, you know, I think it, it for me, it's the changing of the seasons that really kind of is the exciting thing, rather than the seasons themselves if you see what I mean it's the kind of anticipation of oh it's getting dark out there now or it's getting getting cold oh nearly time to get you know get the soup out or you know yeah it's it's getting bright out there it's it's nearly time for summer you know beach days and yeah kind of um you know salads and things so I think probably the anticipation is um maybe what it's about so, I'm sorry, I know this is probably like watching paint dry, watching me just cut these circles out for a second time. Probably painful enough the first time, but I should have really pulled my glasses down to actually cut these out now. But I will just, we'll just continue. Okay. So, like that. Now, obviously, you didn't really have to kind of like put your circles on the, you know, the uh, cereal packet. I have done that just because I want them to have a really sort of, um, what would the word be? Like just a really kind of solid, you know, solid finished feel to them, which I'm not saying they wouldn't have that with the paper, but it's not quite the same. Um, so by doing this, I'm hoping that I'm going to get, you know, a really kind of... Uh, yeah, like a finished feel, um, if that makes sense. So I'm just having a look through my stamps and seeing seeing what stamps I've got here that I could use on here. So so this obviously this is a five by seven envelope and this one has just been coffee dyed and yeah I'm just going to kind of like stick some bits and pieces on it and then obviously do some stamping and put my my circle on there I just think those circles they're so gorgeous on the flax I'm so sorry if I jogged the desk there which obviously I did um yeah I do apologize for that so just pulling my desk open which is always a bit tricky right so I'm going to just go in and do some stamping now which stamp shall I use so I've got this set now this was a set that I bought from Amazon and um I'm so sorry, I've lost the outer packaging to it already and I've not had it really very long. Um, but yeah, so I couldn't tell you, I'm afraid, what the stamp actually is. It was not very expensive. Um, and yeah, I mean, I'm pretty sure I probably searched something like, you know, invoice stamps or something, you know, something similar to, to that, something along those lines. So, yeah, have a look and um, check them out because it's a really super stamp, I must say. Really lovely. So, again, just going to go in just here on the front. Okay. 
So I don't want to overdo, overdo this stamped kind of element. Um, oops, I just suddenly spotted this here. I mean, not that it's, not that it's anything in particular, but it was just, just there loitering at the side of my desk. I thought, oh, actually, that looks like it might just be perfect for this. So again, just ink this up. Probably could have done with tea, uh, tea, coffee, coffee dye in this, um, but. You know, it's fine. We'll just ink it, and I'm sure that would be just as good. I just sort of, yeah, thought, oh, I think that's going to go quite nicely. Now, I'll we'll have it down on this edge. Let's just put it there. Okay. Like that. Oh, how lovely does that look? And then I'm just, you know, just having a look to see what else I've got laying around, really. Now I'm going to have this um, lady on this one. So let's just ink her up. Yeah, once you, um, you know, put these on some sort of, I mean, this isn't chipboard, obviously it's the cereal packet. But, you know, once you thicken them, oh my gosh, they have such a gorgeous feel really love the feel of them um you know they feel like well, I don't know really what I would describe it as but um yeah there's just something really like super yummy about the the feel of the you know this this thickness of the actual piece I've I can't put it into words I know I'm stumbling around but it's because I genuinely can't really think of how to describe it best but um yeah, they just have this really lovely feel about them. Now, just having a look through here because I've got a few different pieces that I'm just wondering whether any of these might look good on this envelope. I think probably they're actually all going to be a bit small. Um, yeah, small or round the wrong way, which is a bit annoying. Oh, I've got this one, actually. This one might be okay. Let's just try this. Oh, let's have that there on the other side. So, yeah, I'm just going to um, have this here. So this one, just one of my um, little invoice pieces. And I'm just going to rough this up so it's a little bit more, you know, rough rough and ready in its style. So, like that. Oops. And just quite heavily ink around this because obviously this you know it's got quite a grungy appearance you know the envelope so um yeah I want to kind of make it quite yeah quite grungy and tatty I suppose so like that okay I mean I have torn into it a bit too much here but that's fine because I can obviously stick that down you know and that will kind of um yeah, get around that. So let's just go in with the wet glue and obviously putting that through the the tear or the torn section. Okay. Like that. And just pop that down on there. Okie dokie. Right. It does now not want to glue. Hold on. Oh dear, come on. Come on. Okay, right. I mean, how gorgeous does that look? And, you know, we've not really even done anything. It's, you know, it's just like nothing. Nothing at all that we've done on there. I'm just wondering whether I might want to have... I've just got this sewing pattern paper and I thought, well, actually, maybe I might be able to do something with that. So... Just cut this down. Oops. Like that. Oh, how lovely does that look? So yeah, I'm just going to oh, I think hot glue. 
so I think hot glue's a bit of an overkill on, you know, such thin paper. It's kind of not really necessary. Oh, and actually, now look, now I spot the spot the mistake for using the hot glue is because it's it's not really ruffling. It's it's not very ruffleable paper. So yeah, from here on, just going to use the wet glue because I can move it slightly better along there. I didn't really kind of realise it wasn't going to be very movable. Okay. But yeah, once it was kind of touching that hot glue, it just then, that was it. It didn't want to move again. So, yeah. Okay. Okay. So that's quite pretty, isn't it? And then might just finish that off with maybe a bit of lace or a flower. So just got some flowers here. Let me just cut them off, cut them off the trim. You know, cause they're part of like a longer piece. So I'm just, just cutting them off. Let's just cut this one off here. Oops, like that. Checking which way up this needs to go. Right. Thinking we could have it like that. Now I've got this black flower here. I'm so loitering around on my desk. I don't know whether I want the black or not. Maybe it's a bit too, too much. Um, What do we think? I think maybe the ivory is better. So yeah, perhaps I will stick with the stick with the ivory one. So that's just gone onto that side bit like that. And then is there another one here? I mean, I have got this one, but I'm not sure. You know, this maybe is a bit too too monstrous on this smallish envelope. So let's just give it a try. Just cut that down. Yeah, when the, um, you know, delivery guy, you know, he knocked. Um, I, again, I just kind of went to the top and just shouted from the window, you know, can you leave it by the door, please? He was not a man I'd ever seen before. So, uh, yeah, he looked a bit surprised to see me just calling out, you know. But it's just helpful when they can just leave it there, to be honest. Okay. Like that. So it's got a bit of a layered kind of effect now going on, which I think is quite pretty, to be honest. Okay, yeah, I quite like that. Now, do we want some more stamping? Because I'm just thinking it looks a little bit kind of plain in the corners. Ooh. Don't necessarily say this is going to go, but I just suddenly saw that. Now, I want to keep in mind that I'm going to have this on the other side. So, yeah. Uh, that is quite nice, actually. That is quite nice. So, yeah, I'm just going to pop this down now. Please excuse the other side of it. As I always say, you know, this is just where I've kind of printed, obviously, multiple multiple times on um, a sheet of paper. So, yeah, don't want to obviously waste the paper. So I like to print it, you know, if it's, if it's come out wrongly or anything, I like to re reuse it. Right, still wondering whether I need anything in those corners. So... Just have a bit of a look. Um, oh, I've got this, which is like a stamp in her. So I could have a bit of that stamp. Just maybe here. Maybe down there. Okay. And just maybe this bit up here. It's quite nice, isn't it? I might just have a bit more of this over here as well, so like that okay yeah that's quite nice isn't it uh do we want anything else i'm just seeing what else i've got laying around here got some of those butterfly stamps i'm not sure not really too sure whether we want one of those mm. oh that's quite nice actually <clears throat> just maybe going off at the side so Hope 
this actually stamps nicely because it's it's a bit lumpy and bumpy here so it's it's not too bad i mean it's a bit weird and sort of over the um frame but that's fine so then all i'm going to do is finish the envelope off here with this pretty circle and then i might just put a little tiny bit of lace trim just along the edge because um well because that's what we like to do isn't it just just finish it with a bit of lace somewhere so yeah maybe just a little tiny bit of lace maybe coming out this side so let's just check which way which way around i would want it so like that i think yeah maybe just like that so just a little row there okay oh how pretty does that look okay and then we're just going to pop that circle down so I'm just going to kind of go over the edge of the circle and then here on like the bottom of the flap if that makes sense so hopefully there I've kind of covered all the you know all the main components that are needing to be stuck down so just had a little tiny bit of glue coming out from the side but on the whole it was pretty much you know the glue was pretty much where it was going to be so yeah so that's that's that envelope and then of course you know that could just then pop into a journal just like hanging over a page or you know paper clipped onto a page with like the flap one side and you know the front of the envelope the other side so I mean it's just really pretty isn't it and it just makes that envelope really um I don't know kind of tactile a bit more tactile than normal now obviously you could put like a magnet here you could put some velcro dots or something so it's actually closing I'm not going to do that right now because it depends how I'm going to use it. You know, if I want it just like hung over on the edge of a page and paper clipped, I might not want to have a, a closure. So, yeah, I'm going to leave it, I think, until I actually come to use it because that's going to be, you know, giving me the most options, I think. So let's take the next one. So that's this one here. And we just, again, ink this up. Okie dokie, right, now, half as it happens, got this. Now, honestly and truly, I didn't know really what was in this pile, so yeah, it was just fluke that this just happens to be, you know, a blue colour. And actually, now I'm looking, I'm thinking, oh, this might be better with that one with the butterfly on it. Let's just have a look. I mean, this is kind of more green, really, than blue, but I don't mind it, it's... Um, it's not too bad let's just try it so just ink this up a bit like that and we'll just ink around here okay think it on the mat it would probably be a bit oh my goodness I was gonna say a bit easier but now I've just flicked everything across the desk oh dear okay right. so yeah I was going to have this on the front but I'm just going to check that I might not prefer it here I know that is a bit weird but um hmm is a bit weird isn't it but now I'm even wondering whether I could have it this side and have it as an open an open sort of envelope oh that's a bit strange isn't it well I guess I could have it like that I could have it like that to be honest I know this is very very weird and you know clearly I had not planned to do this at all but just having a look to see whether actually this could be like a pocket in its in itself, you know, like that, and then you'd have like a little pocket sort of slot under here as well, or through here, through here like that. The only thing is, this is a bit um, wide for a journal page. It would have to actually be this 
this way round, which well, I don't mind it like that. And then I guess then what you've got is you've got then a side pocket as well on this side. This is going off completely at a tangent. This is not what I have planned at all for this, but I just when I kind of saw this, I thought, oh, well, actually, I might prefer. Oh, quite loving that one on there, I must say. Do you know, I might have to do that. So, yeah, we're now going off at a tangent already, so I'm so sorry. You know, we've only done one, and already now we've moved the goalposts and changed how, how we're doing this, but... I couldn't kind of resist it because when I saw that, I just thought, oh, actually, that looks really good like that. So, yeah, let's just glue this down like this. Okay. Now, obviously, we can come over a bit. In fact, we could even have it this way around. So we've got that pretty kind of torn edge. Yeah, I think that's that's more interesting, isn't it? So we've, yeah, got the pretty torn edge on there. Again, just glue this down now. Okay, now definitely, definitely want some stamping around on here. So let's just pop that like that. Now, what stamping should we have on here? Do we just want to stick with that same, <clears throat> that same stamping? Um, we might as well stick with the same. I, I really liked that, to be honest, on the last one. So, oh, if I just move this, it's suddenly gone a bit lopsided. Oh, hold on. It can't have gone a bit lopsided. I must have put it in or put it on a bit lopsided. But, yeah, let's glue that down again. Right, okay. Let's go for this. So, we're going to have a bit down here. Okay, and then just this section up here. Now I'm just going to put that down like that. Oops, actually I'd use this one. Oh, come on. Just stamp around there. Okay, and a bit along here. And then let's just have this bit here that sort of along the edge okay right okay so I just wanted to have you know a little bit a little bit of interest there so as it wasn't completely plain so yeah I think that looks quite nice doesn't it and then this here so yeah what do we want to do on this flap that's the question so let's just see what we've got again just like laying around really on the desk so I have even got some velvet, which we could, could have done. Um, I mean, I guess I could do it like that. That's a bit weird, isn't it? Um, just trying to work out how we would get the most on here. I mean, I could definitely do it like that. I don't know whether I'm now ruining this because it's now become much more fussy than it started out. You know, it was kind of quite simple, which actually I quite liked. And now it's becoming, you know, a, a bit more stuff going on. Is it actually losing, you know, the pretty kind of charm it had in the first place? I mean, I could do something like that. Oh, do you know, I'm not going to, I'm not going to do that. I think it's quite nice just having the, you know, the prettiness of the, yeah, I think it's quite nice just having that prettiness of the, just tear this one down a minute. Okay. Oh, that's quite nice though. Yeah, I quite like that. So, just going to tear that down. Okay. So, this was again just floating around on the desk. But hey, it looks good, doesn't it? So, again, just going to glue this down. Like that. Okay. Okie dokie. Right, let's ink up. Oh, 
nearly dipped it in the stays on. Oh, the amount of times I do things like that, honestly. Right there. Okay, and then just, yep, yeah, around here. And then just think around the, you know, this edge part, so that it's not standing out exactly, because, I mean, it is standing out reasonably well anyway, but, you know, just so it's got a bit more, a bit more about it, I suppose. So, yeah, like that. And then this one here. Oh, that looks nice, doesn't it? So all I'm going to do is just glue this down here on this flap. And that way, our pocket is in here. And then we're going to have the, you know, the topper piece, like over there. I do want to have some lace on this, because, yeah, why wouldn't we? Do we want the lace there, or do we want it here? So I'm just going to cut it down. Oops. And it's a little bit wide, so let's just... Oh my goodness, what blunt scissors. Oh no, come on. Oh, they've seen better days, haven't they? Yeah. Right. So just need to decide now where, you know, where the lace is best being positioned. Is it best kind of there? That's quite pretty. I did see a butterfly here earlier. So we could always have a butterfly. I mean, not necessarily an orange one, but having said that, it actually doesn't look as bad as I thought it would. Oh, here we go. Got a brown one, which we could have. Uh, the brown's not too bad. Let's just see. Just see whether, do we want anything like that kind of up the side? Again, just going to ink this round. Okay, like that. Well, then we could just have the bit of lace down there. That's quite pretty, isn't it? Yeah, let's kind of have this one on there. I mean, it just gets rid of that little scrap too, doesn't it? So, I mean, we could have even had that as a little tuck spot, to be honest. I haven't done it as a tuck spot now, but yeah, could have done. It would have looked quite pretty and worked reasonably well as one. So, yeah, definitely that would have been another option. Okay, let's just pop that like that. Okay, I'm going to just cut this down here. I think. A bit of lace coming out here. Oh, that's quite nice. So, yeah. Okay, and then just see whether we want any more. You know, maybe up there or something. And actually, I'm just wondering whether we might want to have any ribbon or anything coming out from that circle. Still. Oops. Oh, that's quite nice. Right, okay, let me just get rid of that pointy bit because it's a bit too, a bit too pointy. Okay, and right. So this one now... We can obviously glue the entire circle down because it's not, um, you know, unlike the other one where it obviously was just going over the envelope flap. This one actually, you know, it doesn't matter if it kind of like overhangs everywhere because, of course, the pocket is here, isn't it? So like that. And then we're just going to go here with the lace along the edge. You know, and all these things are obviously just, you know, just to add prettiness, really. Make it look, make it look nice. And then I've got some bling here. Again, <laughs> might look rubbish, but hey, it might look nice. So it's always worth a try, isn't it? 
or maybe down there. Yeah, that looks pretty, doesn't it? So just, just pop that down. Oops. Like that. Oh, how scrumptious does that look? I could do some stamping here, to be fair. Um, I don't think it really needs it. But yeah, I mean, I guess could do some stamping there. But I'm going to leave that, I think. So let's do the last one. So the last one, I must stick with what I had originally planned, which was, of course, you know, doing the decorative flaps. Um, so yeah, let's put that one down there. Now, again, let's do some stamping on here. Obviously, we have got already a butterfly theme, butterfly theme going on here. So, I mean, we could... You know, we could actually decorate the the actual envelope with some butterflies. Now, I haven't, yeah, I haven't really thought about this, but let's give it a try. I hope I don't spoil it, but, you know. In for a penny, in for a pound, as they say. So I'm going to put this inside that flap. Oops, like that. So that when I stamp those butterflies around... It doesn't matter if I go here. So all I'm going to do is, I mean, I'm just going to keep these on their, you know, plastic that they came on. And yeah, just literally then take the whole thing as a whole sheet and just pop it. Pop it down like this. Now I'm going to take my big stamp block. Like that press them down. I hope I get a good stamp impression going. Well, it's not too bad. And then just a few more on the other side. So, like that. Okay. And then I guess we could just piece in one or two. So, that one... Yeah, I think a good measure. So that looks good, doesn't it? And then let's put in a little bit of the texty stamp that we have been using. So yeah, let's, oh gosh, I'm gonna have to turn this upside down now to get the right angle, but just where we've got like a little space, let's just go in with a bit of, bit of the script. Okay. Oh my goodness, how scrummy does that envelope look? I love how that looks. Right, so let's do the same on the other side because, yeah, I really liked it. So I'm going to fold the flap over. Now, I haven't decided yet whether I'm going to do the flap with the butterflies or not. So, yeah, we'll kind of decide in a second. So let's just do our rough stamped butterflies. Oh, do you know, they came out much better than I expected. I thought it might have been a complete disaster. Of course, it could still be on this side. But, um, yeah, they, they actually looked really good, didn't they? Oh, right. Okay. And again. Let's go in again. I mean, I, you know, I could have actually taken these off and, of course, then positioned them, you know, on the stamp block. I probably would have got better impressions. But to be honest... I don't think these have not come out, you know, I think they've come out fine. So I don't think I needed really to be doing that. I think these have come out, you know, perfectly fine. Okay. Let's just do one on there, I think. Yeah, okay, right now I have got the one, the one on this block. So, which is quite a large one. Let's do that down here. Okay. Yeah. Right. So go back in with that scripty stamp because I think that was what really finished it off actually on the other side was when we when we put the script in with the butterflies. You know, that just kind of like changed the whole look, didn't it? You know, really looked nice. So just filling in some of the gaps. I mean, to be honest, that's probably enough. But yeah, let's just go quickly down here because there's... It was just a bit of a sort of messy patch. Okay, yeah, love how that looks. Right, let's get rid of that stays on now out of the way. <clears throat> Before I obviously put that anywhere else. Right, now, going to ink up the envelope. As you can see, I have left the flap plain at the moment. 
I'm not saying I'm definitely going to keep that plain, but I do actually quite like it plain at the moment. So yeah, let's kind of leave it plain for the minute. And let's just take the blendy tool and just ink around everywhere. I'm thinking actually I might have to put some book page into the envelope itself, you know, on the inside kind of of that flap. I don't know why, but for some reason that's just, yeah, something about it is um, saying to me that that's, you know, that would look good. So might have to go in and do that. So let's just get our vintage photo all around here. Yeah, that looks nice. And then here as well. Okay, now I'm not too worried about this inside because like I just said, I think actually I'm going to go in with some book page just, you know, to slot in here. So yeah, it doesn't really matter that it's that it's gone over. That's fine. And then just a little bit here, you know, on the foldy line. Right. Oh my goodness. That looks so scrummy, doesn't it? Uh, let's just see what big page. Definitely not that one. It's ditchy in there. Yeah, nowhere near big enough. Let's have a look at this one. Oh, how annoying is that? Well, I mean, I guess I could have it could have it like that. It's a bit rubbish, but uh, it's not too, too bad, is it? Yeah, not too bad. So let's just do that. So I'm just going to tear this strip down. I'll just cut this, cut this side strip down. Like that. Okay. And then just check that this fits into here it does so that's okay and then I'm just going to glue this in here now so just glue around here oops like that okay and then lots of glue here like that oh dear Right, pop this in. Oh. I always struggle so much when I'm lining lining an envelope. Um, you know, because you've put the glue on and then it obviously doesn't really have the sliding capacity. So yeah, it's always really super tricky. Oh, come on, come on. There probably is like a really good technique to doing this. And I'm actually thinking probably what I should do is, yeah, maybe even place it in and then, oh gosh, that's just the worst I've ever done. The worst way I've ever done it. Right, let's just do it once more. Okay. Oh, that's better. Right, for a minute I thought, oh no, this is just embarrassing. I'm going to have to just take it out and, uh, you know, start again completely. Right. Just then spread this out everywhere with my glue spreader. Okay. Right, trim down my envelope. Or, you know, around where the envelope is. Okay. Now, I could, could fill this piece in. Um, yeah, actually, I am going to fill that in. I didn't really think I needed to. I thought, well, it doesn't look that bad. But actually, I think it would benefit from being being filled in. So, yeah, let's just glue that piece down like that. Okay. Again, just spread that out. And then, again, I will just tidy that up Oops, from the other side where I can see better where it needs trimming. Okay. Come on. Hey, right. Okay. So that is our envelope flat. Now, just fold it over again at the, you know, where it actually is supposed to be folded. So, yeah, like that. Oh my goodness, now look what I've done. Squidged glue out there. OK, 
get rid of that. And then I'm just going to ink up the bit page slightly. Now it was quite a sort of squeeze getting that ooh, getting that bit page in there. So I haven't really got any, you know, any further into that envelope, if you see what I mean. But that's fine. I mean, you don't really need any any more than that. Okay, just need to trim this off because it's still not looking very good. And here. Okay, right. Yay! And then our massive great big kind of tile there. Oh my goodness, how gorgeous does that look? Love how that looks. Now the only other thing that I was wondering is if I've got anything similar-ish shade that I thought I could stamp this butterfly. Now I don't know whether this is, you know, this is going to look good or not, but let's give it a try. So this is that biggish butterfly from that stamp set. So I'll stamp it in the greenest part of that paper. Okay. And then I'm just going to cut that out. Okay. Now, as always, you know, I don't mind about those stamen things from the butterfly. I just cut them straight off. You know, because, oh, who's got time for cutting those out, to be honest? And, you know, even, even if I could be bothered to cut them out, they would just look rubbish. You know, I would not have made them look good. They would look rubbish. The same as this little long prong thing. I just cut that straight off. Because I'm not going to make a very good job of cutting that. So why, you know, why fiddle around? And the same with this long taily part. Again, just cut that off. Because, you know, sometimes you can... A, spend ages actually trying to cut around it, you know, and make this really neat job of it. And to be honest, invariably, oh, in my experience anyway, you know, they're going to just look shocking. Or they're going to be very, very, very fragile. In which case, you know, either of those scenarios, not great, is it? You know, you don't want them, don't want them looking shocking or fragile. So, yeah, just kind of cut them off. And then, you know, then you don't have to worry about it, do you? It's, you know, it's done and dusted kind of thing. So, right, it's not looking quite as good as I'd hoped, it's got to be said. Um, I mean, we could, we could even have it, I guess. Oh, that's quite nice, actually. Let's just ink this up a bit. Now, do we want any lace coming out behind the circle? I know, I really just should, should stop with the lace sometimes, but, you know... It just has this way of drawing me in. And, you know, no sooner have I tried it than that's it. That's it. I'm gluing it on. So, yeah. Oh, gosh. Really must dig out some other scissors. Because these are very, very blunt. And, yeah, a bit frustrating to cut with. So, yeah, that's... Well, I think that does look nice, to be honest, with the lace. So, yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to go for the lace. So, again, just going to pop some glue here which is like the end of that envelope flap and then pop some here on like the you know the main body if you like of the circle pop the circle down like that and I'm just going to open it so that any glue oozing out just you know goes onto that book page and not onto the envelope itself so like that Okay, that's it, and then, yeah, I mean, how gorgeous does that look? Really pretty, doesn't it? And then, yeah, I did wonder about this, I mean, I did wonder about it over here. I know it's a completely different butterfly, I mean, you could always print some more circles and obviously, you know, cut yourself out an identical butterfly. But that being said, this butterfly actually, it works perfectly well, doesn't it? So... Yeah, there's no reason why I couldn't do that. Um, the other thing is we haven't obviously done anything on this side. So let's just have a look on this side because we might, you know, want to have it actually on this side, which would then tie the two, the tie, uh, the, ooh, tie the two sides in. Oh, I can't speak, sorry. So again, just going to rough this up. I'm going to try and be a bit more gentle. Mm, famous last words. 
trying to be a gentle mm. okay I mean to be honest I probably could use some of that um, I was thinking that salvaged is it the salvaged patina it might not be that it might be the aged sage let me just dig my bank pad out hold on because I'm thinking maybe a bit of that green bundled bundled sage um because then it would obviously have a little bit a little bit of the green you know on here as well which would again tie in from the other side so just cleaning my ink pad off a bit it's a bit blue okay right let's just see okay so i'm just going to go through that okay I mean to be honest it's not really showing up that brilliantly I'm not pressing very hard because I don't want to um, you know have it go green if you know what I mean I just wanted it to look quite subtle so yeah I'm probably not really pressing hard enough um, but yeah let's go around the edge a bit and press a bit harder so hopefully it's, you know, just picked up a bit, a bit of a green tinge here. Yeah, I mean, that looks quite pretty, doesn't it? I just didn't want to kind of have it go really, really green, you know, that we're then, oh, it wasn't really usable at all because it was just bright green. Okay, so that probably looks, you know, about right because it's the right level of subtle. The right level of subtle. Yeah, Okay. So again, just going to put that one on there as a um, as a pocket. So yeah, let's just pop that down. So in all of these pieces, they're just my invoice pieces. And to be honest, you know, I mean, you didn't even have to do that. You could have just left it plain as the butterflies. That looked super pretty, I thought. So, um, yeah, I mean, you wouldn't even have to do anything like this. You know, you could just leave it completely plain. Now, I just happen to have this little, this little butterfly piece, uh, butterfly, button, <laughs> this button piece here, which that looks quite pretty on there, doesn't it? Yeah, so I might just add that. Okay. Just add that to the corner. And then just this butterfly just here to the side. That looks pretty, doesn't it? Yeah, that looks gorgeous. And then, of course, you know, we've got this side. Now, again, you know, could add some other things. I'm not sure really what else it actually needs. Um, I'm just having a look around to see if I've got any, you know, any of that sort of minty green... Um, ribbon or anything because that would look quite pretty uh, I don't really see any um, got some ribbon sort of on the floor that's why I'm rummaging a bit there no 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 just got yeah that's quite yellowy looking well, not the right colour at all I, I didn't think it would be the right colour obviously I could see it wasn't I could see it wasn't minty green in case you're thinking oh my goodness what's happened to her she just can't even tell what's what's cream and what's minty green. But no, I just thought it might have toned enough. I have got these flowers, um, you know, which I've been using all the time lately. But yeah, I mean, again, it's, it's then looking a bit lime green. So I don't particularly want to, you know, contaminate the look with some lime green now because that's like a complete different look again, isn't it? So yeah, I think probably I had best just, um, you know, Call it quits and know when to stop really and yeah just leave it like this even as i'm saying it i'm still hunting around can you tell still not quite happy still looking for other things but yeah i mean i really hope that you like them i just i thought they're really lovely and they just have the most amazing feel once they're backed onto that cereal box they feel so scrumptious so um yeah i really hope that you like them and um you know maybe it's given you some ideas and things to to do with your um circles and things so um yeah thank you so much for watching and i hope you have fun if you're going to play and do something similar 
and I will see you guys tomorrow. Thanks then. Bye.